Hey, Mike Peterson here with PerformBetterGolf.com. If you're struggling to hit solid golf shots, what I'm going to talk about today just might help you. Okay, so what I'm going to discuss today is how the left arm moves in the golf swing. And that's if you're a right-handed golfer. If you're a left-handed golfer, just flip it around the other way. But I think what you're going to find out today is the left arm has to move a certain way and be connected to your body to hit solid golf shots. And the first thing I want you to pay attention to is when you're at a dress. When you're at a dress, there is almost a little pinching feeling between your upper left arm and your chest, and that's that connection. So what you're basically doing is doing a little preset, kind of taking your left arm and just kind of squeezing it in to your left pec muscle. And when you add a dress, you're gonna to wanna to feel just that little pressure right there. Okay, so that first move we're gonna make is in the takeaway. And when I get my address position here, and my arms are hanging naturally down, vertically straight down here, you're gonna move, you're gonna rotate back with your shoulders, and as you get to the halfway checkpoint, your arm should be across your chest and at a 45 degree angle to the target line. So if I had a target line here and then I took my left arm, it should be at a 45 degree angle. So as I take it back, I want to rotate with my upper body and at the halfway point or the nine o'clock point, I want to feel that left arm has gone across my chest at a 45 degree angle and I'm still on plane. Okay, and when we take it up to the top, there's a little bit of variance in where your left arm can be. So if we've taken it back and done our checkpoint and we continue to rotate, the left arm can either be along the shoulder plane line, it can be up a little bit above it, a little bit below it. So you've got a little bit of room here, but what I don't want you to do is lift independently of your shoulder turn. So as we come back and we complete our shoulder turn, that's it. If you lift any more, that's an independent movement that's going to kill your golf swing. Okay, so now we want to talk about coming down, what the left arm does coming down. You know, we've checkpoint halfway back across our chest, up to the top, and as we start rotating down, I do, don't want the move to be here. See, that's an over-the-top move. The, the left arm literally, the hands and the arms drop. See that? They drop down on plane just like that, so there's a little dropping motion, and again, there's my 45 to the target line. So your checkpoint coming down is, am I 45 degrees to the target line, halfway down. Okay, so now coming into impact, it's just a, it's, it's just a constant dropping of the left arm, rotating of the shoulders, and then the hips as well, rotating through, and you're at a, posi a perfect position at impact. So you can see how much that left arm is dropped from the top position, hands and arms have dropped, shoulders have rotated, hips have rotated, and you've gotten into a very good impact position right there. Okay, this is the make or break in your golf swing with your left arm for the right-handed golfer. When you get to impact and beyond, this is something I worked on for a long time until I finally got it. You're gonna feel like, at impact, that that left arm has dropped way down, really low, down here, so that when you come into impact, so I put a ball down here, and you've come through, see how that left arm can stay into your body, and then it can fold up? Well, if you come in to impact with that left arm high and the shoulder high, then you're going to end up flipping at the ball, and that's what most amateurs do is they flip at the ball. So we want to really feel like, at impact, our left arm has dropped significantly down, and now it's in close to our body, and we're able to rotate through the shot, and then the arm fold up, and then we get back on playing with the club. So, and you can do this in a mirror at home um, a ton. Get down, get sideways to the mirror, get it at impact, feel the left arm real low, and from here, just bring it through, and that's a perfect follow through in the golf swing, is that left arm staying low and hugging the body. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope this helps you become a better ball striker.